Well, this is a workbench that I just completed, and it's it's adapted from the Moravian style benches that were found in Old Salem. It's a, a town, Moravian town in uh, North Carolina that was founded in 1766. And um, I used black walnut for the top. It's a single slab. Cherry for the leg assemblies, stretchers, uh, vice chop, and uh, some other parts. I used some white oak. Well, I got the wood screw from uh, Lake Erie Tool Works. Uh, he was very kind and gracious and was able to get it to me ahead of schedule. Um, and this is going to help me out because I'm actually leaving uh, for Iowa uh, here in a couple of days for Handworks uh, 2023, which is a, a big show. There's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of vendors there, tools, tool makers, um, and uh, and the like. So it's supposed to be a pretty big show. I'll be hopefully selling this bench here. This will be a display piece at uh, Jordan, my friend Jordan Goodwin's booth uh, over at Axe and Anvil Handworks. He'll be there. Um, he'll be saying a lot of blacksmithing and woodworking stuff, so this will be part of the display there. Overall, I was really impressed with how sturdy this design is once it's all put together uh, with the, the angled uh, leg assemblies and the, the long stretchers in place with the little oak keys that are put in. Uh, once that's in place, it is rock solid. I mean, you can jump up on top of it and it's not going to flex at all. There's no creaking that happens. And um, yeah, really impressed with the design. There's no wonder why it's still around. Uh, people still make these uh, this, this style of bench, and it's uh, it stood the test of time.